Hello, and welcome to the CBC Podcast. I'm Joe. You can find me on Twitter at Halftime Joe. Uh, today, Norman, uh, he's gone. Uh, but to the Bahamas. Went, uh, I'm going to say he went to Tahiti. <laughs> Uh, but that's in. You know, I wonder if people still reference that for a shield. I I feel like that's like oh. just years <laughs> past. But before I get off on a tangent, of course, my cohorts today that are gonna be with me that are always here on the mm. CBC podcast and all the other podcasts that we do every uh, day of the week. First off, Tristan. Hey guys, um, you can catch me at Control Breakers. And we also got Mitch. What's up? You can find me on Twitter and Vero. At Mitch six nine. See, he's the only one who's gonna be <laughs> like marketing that that he has a bureau that he's gonna be shouting like, it out. I'm not like uh, like I, I'm <laughs> off and on about this because apparently, Mitch, you said you having connection issues. I have oh, connection it's so issues now. half the half the time. Yeah, but it's mostly just on my phone. I mean, it's it's buggy as fuck. But... Yeah, I'm yeah. only saying it for a joke at the minute. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's you not can really find me on bureau. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So. With that, before we get into a lot, because honestly, the news we had to like take out some very important news. So everything here is like he weird. says very important. It was casting news I, to me. No, there's still some other stuff that like we could have added in here. It seems important. It's just this podcast always seems to have, or at least this week, there's a lot of heavy hitters in terms of news. Yeah, so that's like, true. Uh, we're gonna like just go with it. If you're saying, oh, you, why didn't you talk about this? Yada yada yada. No time. You, you know, you can always probably follow us on Twitter for all our takes on that. Uh, Mitch has the hottest of takes, if I, hey. I say. Um, <laughs> so, before we get into all that, do want to do as I always done, and that is, or at least this week, uh, some important news. Mostly, you can follow us on all social media. Just search us up, but it's usually at Comic Book Cast. And it's also if you're watching the YouTube video, um, you can see all the links right there on screen. Um, patreon.com slash comic book cast because starting next week we are going to be doing a lot of uh, more stuff on there more content and also next week is the return of the producer credits uh, I did, was not aware that we weren't doing them for the past month or two uh, so they will be returning as a Monday and if you are a patron who has pledged a dollar or above you will get your name on that little short thing that says, hey, you're like a quote-unquote producer because you are giving us money to do the show, basically. And that is what producers do sometimes. Um, so with that, definitely check that out. Patreon.com slash comic book cast. Um, also, iTunes. I just this, I wanted to mention it to dailies. Um, but please go on iTunes. Um, find us on iTunes, comic book cast, or CBC podcast. And honestly, just give us a rating, review, and all that because it's all kind of more organized now. And it's uh, the names and the the titles and all, all that stuff, the the timestamps. It's all there. So, go, what guys. about SoundCloud? I mean, so, <laughs> so, what about SoundCloud? If you have a SoundCloud, go. But the SoundCloud is basically our iTunes. So everything you see on the SoundCloud will be go straight to iTunes because we use that RSS feed to go into iTunes feed. So basically, uh. It's if you find it easier to get the podcast on iTunes, definitely go on there and just rating, you know, rate us, review us. Uh, we definitely love, would love to see that. We'll probably do in the future maybe some contests, possibly, uh, if you do that. But as of right now, we're just like, you know, asking. And SoundCloud, Tristan said, yeah, soundcloud.com slash comic book cast. We're on there too. You can comment. And the thing I always liked about SoundCloud was that whenever you comment, it tells you at the exact kind of like, Timestamp. Yeah, time yeah. yeah, I always thought running. that was pretty cool. It is still up and running. It is not dead yet, as the streets may have told you. Somebody gave money to SoundCloud to keep it going, which it wasn't Chance the Rapper, if what I'm being told. Um, anything else? Of course. Oh yeah, update is. I already said it on Twitter. That's where you'll see a lot of the updates. But you'll see that the comics podcast off the page will be out tomorrow instead, because this one got delayed to today, which is Friday. Off the page is Saturday, which is the comic news. So. Anything else, guys? I, I don't want to go off too long. That's already like two minutes no. or something like that. But no, you got the gist of it. All right. We're having Check out the MySpace. Ah oh, man, MySpace. Bring, it <laughs> bring it back. Bring it back. Like, I thought that was just music at this do you, point. Do you know it is? So we're gonna get into the first piece of news, which is gonna be talking about the possible sale of Warner Brothers and DC Comics properties. Now, uh, to be specific. N- Nothing official is this came from the rap and the rap is saying that there's still the merger still happening between AT&T and Time Warner, but there's a possibility that 
the merger preparing might fail. for the worst. Yeah, the merger be. might fail. And in, uh, sources say that it, uh, it might fail. And Time Warner might end up selling DC because there is a kind of not toxic well, they, to they, they, well, they sell off yeah. Warner Brothers and DC. Okay, yeah. Yeah. HBO, yeah. Turner, you know, all those, then, like, everything. That yeah. just, and then, yeah. like, some other statements have said that Apple is in, interested in Warner Brothers. And if that happens, then, like, DC Comics will be up in there because they don't know who they're going to sell it to. Well, if Apple were to we buy... Disney. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what everybody's, like, joking about right now, which could be a possibility. Um, we'll definitely it, it's see. Not, it's, that's too much of a comics monopoly. You think so? I mean, like, sure, like Monopoly means there's no competition, but and you would have image. But wouldn't, wouldn't that imply that they would be doing the movies also and not just the comics? Well, I, uh, yeah, probably. I, yeah, I think Disney would yeah. just want to put someone in charge, like, like a Jeff Johns or whatever. I know and there's also I. I will not take the slander. I want to say it on this podcast because it's the the big <laughs> one. I will not take any Jeff Johns slander on Twitter for anybody who thinks this is his fault. The Justice League sucked. It's not. It just sucked as a movie. So, just wanted to put it out there. But, yeah, I mean, if it is a possibility Disney gets DC Comics and they somehow make a studio out of it, a uh, film studio, then you see the same thing that happened to Marvel, basically. You'll well, probably his, his raise thing. its value. <laughs> like, let's say Doomsday Scenario, everything go, like yeah. everything bumps out and they have to actually get a new buyer. Yeah. It's not going to be Disney. They don't. They probably they, don't even want it. They're like, we have our stuff. We're, we're good. I mean... There is that, and the fact that they probably can't afford it after the whole Fox thing. Um, it's true. Who's in the next best place? Uh, well, who's I'm thinking of? Who does um, Fast and Furious Universal right? Universal. It's, it's, it's got to be like Universal or Paramount, surely. They just Universal just dropped out of their um, monster like cinematic universe, so they're looking yeah. for a cinematic universe. You know, with the that the Mummy with Tom Cruise that bombed, so they probably just I think they just stopped. If I remember correctly, they're like, yeah, maybe we're not. This wasn't a good idea, or maybe I, it's I still there's there's still, one more, but maybe they're still trying to do stuff. it. But it's yeah, not I really. I think they're trying. Yeah. I think each movie they do is trying to kickstart it. Yeah. Really, so it's just kind of so, like the, I think the werewolf ones. I mean, I can't remember. that's what yeah, I'm saying. I think that's, Universal. Yeah, I think that's the one. Universal could be in the air because they need a cinematic universe because in this kind of super team era of of cinematic universes, which is like the big thing everybody wants, like the the missiles and whatever, the big weapons, the cinema, that's what cinematic universes are in Hollywood. Everybody wants one. Universal doesn't necessarily have one. Fast and Furious isn't one yet until they make that Hobbs movie with The Rock, which I doubt. Will happen. Never that. Yeah, I doubt that'll happen, but I don't think they have an actual cinematic universe. So... I look. Who else could get it? I'm trying to think of like. I, it's it's Fox sold on his property, so it's like. Well, Fo- Fox can't buy it because it'll be yeah. Disney. <laughs> yeah, no, that's um, what I'm saying. They sold all their properties. It's just like who can afford it? Like maybe Sony tried. I doubt it. Sony that needs would, one, but they're still. That'd be hilarious. What happened though? They're still mm. underwater, and it's, you'd also get that bad baggage of like, ah, oh, Sony. And they made all those Spider-Man movies and those other stuff they tried that sucked. So. Uh, fans wouldn't be happy with that, which of course I, I don't think really plays a part. Uh, how happy fans are, I just think whoever oh, no. puts up the most money would do, would do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I I'm trying to think what other studios in mind. Like, um, maybe Lionsgate. Maybe <laughs> they tried with their Power Rangers, right? And they didn't necessarily yeah. like they. Uh, maybe they still want to do a second one. I still hope there's a sequel to that. Uh, Twenty. No, that, that's dead in the wall. Damn, I still hope so. Um. I'm, I would have said, no, Blumhouse is not going to be in that type of thing. No, Blumhouse, Blumhouse, Blumhouse haven't got that much money. They also really just love doing things on sandwiches. like uh, Yeah. So I mean, they, they make like six sandwiches and they spend three on a movie. So. Yes. I, I'm, I, I don't have like an actual thing, but if this were to happen, could you see the possibility of better movies being made in terms because i know mitch you're not necessarily a fan of the movies and i i kind of am but i think they could overall be better in a sense i'm i you know what i'm saying like i don't think mm. they were the best that they could be even me as a I mean, fan no, of I'd those hope, two movies i'd hope the movies are better like but yeah i don't know like that's what you kind of hope when someone buys it from you know the parent company that couldn't do it in the first place yeah yeah because um, what they they need their own studio. That's the thing. Well, well, yeah. Well, they need their own studios within like a bigger studio, which is uh, Universal or it could be Sony. You know what I mean? Um, I just can't honestly fathom who it would be. It's like you just throw names out there, and then you start thinking of 
no, but it wouldn't work because of this. It wouldn't work because of this. And none of this, we'll never really know like what could work until we just actually see it work because there's all these possibilities, yeah. but like there's so many things that could just go wrong with it. And then once it works, we're like, all right, that, that works, but we'll, we won't know what actually works. So, you know, I, yeah, I just have, don't really have too much else to say about this. I don't know about y'all. I just think this is a interesting thing to note because mm-hmm. the whole it, AT&T it, merger was a big mm-hmm. thing, but now... It, I mean, it, it is interesting, but basically, like, the rest of the world, everyone's just a wait-and-see mode because there's really nothing else going on. Well, I'm yeah. sure a lot of other companies are just looking at that merger and saying, if it falls through, I'm, I know I'm putting my hand up as soon as uh, oh, yeah, definitely. they're on sale. Uh, people are... People have definitely gotten ready for it. But, um, yeah. Like, what does it mean for Warner Bros. as well? Like, do Warner Brothers just stop? I doubt no, they just stop. No, I, I, I swear that's all. But uh, I assume they just do the same thing, but whatever company they they get into, whoever it's, buys them, because Time Warner's going to sell them. What, like, what usually happens is they have a set amount of uh, time that they can continue to, to work on products that they have like say like they have up till 2020 yeah. planned out they keep doing that until 2020 and then when the buyout happens then they listen to whoever bought them out on but, what the new plan is so who... yeah, but it's just kind of like you know like are Let's people going to buy dc and warner brothers in the same hole or is warner brothers going to get absolutely gutted or this guy... yeah that's yeah mitch makes a point is whoever buys warner brothers going to come with uh dc comics and all the other products because you're also getting like looney tunes you're getting all these you know you're gonna get all these back uh, backlogs oh, of... you're getting like lords of the rings you're getting yeah. harry potter you got yeah. the dc brand like yeah. are, are people crazy. gonna sell that off as one or are they gonna sell it off individually like yeah you could it, theoretically do sell it individually or you could just buy them for the sake of wanting all those properties to think you can do it better than them you know what i mean um, yeah. it's a good situation for them it's... to be in though I'm gonna, cause I'm gonna look up something right quick. But uh, I think, yeah, I, I don't think there's too much us because this is just one of those things where you're just hearing little rumblings of it, and maybe in a couple months, some stuff may take steam and it may actually be true. But right now, it's just a very initial rumblings of. But even then, for a couple weeks, people have just felt like right, like this is this was a weird thing. Because when yeah. AT and T came out and said, "Look, they even said they didn't like the way Justice League was being handled," yet they didn't do anything, and they're the they're the ones who are buying out Warner Brothers. Yet they didn't do anything. You know what I'm saying? Well, no, that was just straight up Time Warner didn't like it. Both of them, AT and T executives at AT and T and Time Warner didn't like yeah, but, what was the handling yeah. with Justice League, yeah. whether it was the movie itself or just the surrounding areas around well, it. They wasn't didn't like it, it. Wasn't it that they, they didn't want Snyder on it? At all I, after BBS, I that, think that's what they were saying. Article? Yeah. Mm. Okay. I I mean, whether you're a fan of Snyder or not, that's not the issue here. The issue is this, or the fact is, is that they well, didn't I mean, like what was rang, happening. It rang true. They fired him. Yeah. Well, they, they, didn't did. they got rid of him. So. And they tried to hide it under the like he's going yeah. away for the family stuff and stuff like that. And you know that's typical Hollywood stuff. It is what it is. Um, when you get into the business, you know stuff like that's gonna happen. So you try not to take it personal. I assume, right? Um, but yeah. Uh-huh. I, Situation, but yeah. Do y'all, yeah, yeah. Do you guys have anything else? I honestly can't. No. Yeah. I can't think of anything else right just, now. It's just a weird situation for it to, like. Obviously, it's not guaranteed to happen. Yeah, it's and... not guaranteed. Oh, this is just like if in a couple months it ha- like nothing comes up with this, then I would say don't worry. Like, but then just right now, this is initial stuff. Mm. Like, I'd I'd honestly be surprised if it doesn't happen, but I can kind of see them selling the DC Comics brand. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Despite, but even then, it's like, I don't know how... I don't know the likelihood of that. But. Yeah. Alright. So with that, we are going to move on to our next piece of news, which is going to be talking about Fox reportedly developing multiple Marvel movies, including a Silver Surfer movie. Which, by time, <laughs> if he ever gets a movie, by time, because I, I did not necessarily like the way he was handled in that Fantastic Four movie, but... Is this the whole, like, hey, we have these properties until this time. Let's just do as much as we can. Basically. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. I mean, they can't really just sit on their asses on, well, guys, this is about to buy us, so we can just do nothing. You yeah. want pizza? 
Um, this is coming from the Hollywood Reporter, yeah. who, of course, is saying, uh, who is a big trade, of course, should be trusted. I'm um, saying that there are several things of that they're trying to do. Still do that Doctor Doom movie with Noah Hawley, uh, Silver Surfer movie, which I think, if I remember correctly, I read somewhere that Brian K. Vaughn was possibly writing it. I think that's who they want who they want to get. So to it's not official. It, they did, did, Yeah. Um, no, it's actually might be official or actually because the Hollywood Reporter is reporting that Fox is developing it, which is being written by Brian K. Vaughn. So for to believe mm. like Hollywood Reporter and all this other stuff, I'm assumed uh, I got to assume that Brian K. Vaughn is that's how you say his name. Vaughn, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's, it's Brian K. Vaughn. OK, that he is writing that movie, which sounds like not going to lie. I mean, he's one of the best in the comics industry, so it might not be a bad movie. So to see it. like him. And then Noah Hawley, who does Legion, Fargo, doing Doctor Doom, like, like I said when that was announced, like, that's a great creator, what a great it property. Is. I don't that's see any that. reason why this should be that bad. I, you know, you just pair them up, but mm. I don't know, man. So hey, they're also they're starting. To, they're going to be start shooting. Um, what's it called? X Force October eighth, I think. Um, so they're pushing that. So, X Force, Deadpool, the Deadpool spinoff movie, Drew Goddard, uh, shooting this October. Um, New Mutants was recently delayed as well. That's something to be noted, um, which I still wonder, like, was that even a good idea? It's, which they're, um, like... they're adding a new character to that. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it says it's right going to be clearly going to be Warlock because it's like, oh, we're going to bring him in the sequel. And it's like, oh, no, let's just put him in this one because we're not going to get a sequel. So. Um, and as of February 27th with the report... They still say Gambit is still greenlit for... It's, Gambit's, like, indefinitely delayed. <laughs> you know? um, and well, it, it indefinitely? <laughs> it's, that's, you know, like a Silver and Sable, that's not going to happen ever. <laughs> so uh, there's also a Kitty Pride film, a supernatural film focused yeah, on Kitty Pride as a possibility. That's the one. From it's what? got Bendis Bendi- 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 and Miller. Yeah, yeah. Bendis and Miller. Um... So he says the impending merger does not affect this project in any way, shape, or form. So I'm assuming all these projects, whether it be Multiple Men with James Franco, that's still a possibility. Not going to happen. <laughs> uh, Chenny Tatum with Gambit, if you say that. Not going to happen. Um, Kitty Pride with Bendis and Miller. Uh, X-Force with Drew Goddard. And to serve all, the, all these movies. I assume they had them ready. And they were I mean, just... they've had, like, if you look at Silver Surfer, James Gunn gave him a Silver Surfer script, like, 10 years ago. Yeah. They've had these movies in development for years. It's just like, let's just push them out the door. Yeah, so yeah, it's basically, yeah, it's the same thing. We're heading out. We might as well see what we could do with these projects. And, I mean, bust or, like, profit, it, it's, it's not going to matter. Like, they're being sold yeah, off anyways. Like, it, it, all it is is literally that it, it's um precaution in case the Disney deal doesn't go through properly. Yeah. If it doesn't go their way, they have a slate of movies to come out. It, yeah, it, it's it's always important to have a backup plan, which this seems to be a good backup plan. If you have those three movies, Silver Surfer with uh, Vaughn, uh, X Force with Goddard, who I think is another great creator, and then uh, Bendis and Miller on Kitty Pryde. Like those are three or four great creators that on three great properties. So I mean, is Kitty Pryde a great property? Yeah, maybe. not really. No, okay. <laughs> Just doesn't really need them. So, I, is there any other movie y'all would favorite like? Character. True. Uh, is there any other movie y'all would have liked to have heard they would be creating in this no. sense? Or are you just no. those three are like, no, okay, no, that's no. all I need? No, not really. No. I don't even need the three they've announced. Like, <laughs> stop. You don't need Silver Surfer? Not from uh, them, no. no. Oh. Right. If, you know, if it was Marvel and James Gunn, I'd watch that Silver Surfer movie. Yeah, but he's probably busy working on Gardens still. I'm, I don't know. I, I, if this gets goes any further, I think Fox will probably nab Gunn for it. Why wouldn't you? True. It's very true. I mean, he, if he has uh, the availability, which is probably he will. I mean, he's only doing Guardians. Like, yeah. It's not like his last film did well. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and and like, it says... Didn't he, like, he express interest in Moon Knight also? Oh, true. I think he has, yeah. yeah. There's tons of characters he wanted. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like an X-Men type of property that I would have liked to have heard if, if they're gonna do this might as well I think Doctor Doom was when Noah Hawley was the only one I was like okay that's the one I really want because you know I love Doctor Doom and I think Noah Hawley would did great with Legion I just think that's gonna be good I think it I don't think it can really be that bad you know what I'm saying 
It's not going to happen, so... Uh, there's that. <laughs> but <laughs> it also says here, which I assume this is the slate of dates that they could put those movies in, which is November 22nd, 2019, March 13th, 2020, June 26th, 2020, and October 2nd, 2020. Those are the dates I assume that uh, those movies could possibly go in Silver Surfer, Kitty Pride, X-Force, you know. Mm. The 2019 date, I'd say, is going to be X-Force. Makes sense. That one's probably more ahead than the others. I yeah, um, I mean they're starting in a few months. Yeah. Um, after that, it's probably going to be Deadpool three. Makes sense. Um, what's the other date? How many are there? Uh, four. So I got four. I got two more dates. November, four. March, June, October. Oh, um, then yeah, maybe a mainline X Men movie if they carry on after Dark Phoenix. Yeah. Um, which is still we don't even know I'm say that's up in the air in a minute though. yeah because i think brian tinker is gone anyways and he was the one oh, that yeah. was kind of keeping he's it gone. he was the one that was kind of uh, keeping it afloat was he no he wasn't even on dark phoenix no oh, yeah it's um it was all Kim simon kimberg yeah mm-hmm. oh, i guess kimberg is now like the main guy or he has been for a while i guess because um, i was gonna say he's, he's been on it since x3 so yeah. not exactly the confidence booster you want yeah exactly but, um yeah i i don't know where you'd put like a doctor doom movie in no, uh, in the year. Like, November. where would you put them? I suppose November, yeah. It just seems but, like, you know, you have Thor there, you had just... It just seems like it could work out. Mm-hmm. Um, Alright. With that, we are going on to our next piece of news, which is going to be talking about Joss Whedon no longer directing Batgirl. It's kind of recent, bom, actually, bom. that this happened. Um, I'm low-key happy about this, just because I want somebody i wanted somebody else to do batgirl if that's gonna happen oh he's the thing right he said when they got him on that he ha- he's on because he has a story for batgirl the reason he's left is because he hasn't got a story for nah, i don't believe that what is like obviously it's because he, of either that or his story got canned nah, it, it, i just it's, think they didn't want what was uh, the politics like, shout, out, shout out the super bro movies they they said this in a when, long november, time ago didn't they november december like yeah. it's been confirmed now shout out to and them. every everyone shout on them for that and it got confirmed so didn't we like retweet them or something like that we did <laughs> we when that came out and then they deleted it i think because some so many people were calling them out saying fake no, fake, um, fake warner brothers asked him to delete it that's what it was but there are also so many people calling it out but to me when i first heard that when they said it i was like Makes sense. I don't think you wanted this whole baggage that came with Joss no. Whedon after Justice League. Um, and I don't even think he was no, that no, great of a movie he, director, he, in my opinion. No, there, there was Justice League, and there was the whole thing with his ex-wife. Yeah. And the whole cheating thing. That's and what I'm saying. Getting, like, you don't want that baggage. Out. Yeah, so. Especially but, on the Batgirl movie. Like, we don't want that. I, I'm probably, that is probably one of my hottest takes, though, that I think, I don't think Joss Whedon is a great movie director. I think. Is that a hot take? Um, I. At the minute, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> I um, mean, uh, we've had this conversation for a while, and I, I always say it all yeah. the time. I just, I didn't think he was the best choice he's, for right, Justice League. He, he is my thing on Joss Whedon. He was a, he is a great director for an, a nineties style of like storytelling. And it's twenty. Like if you, if you look at like Buffy and everything, it is really good for the time. Like, oh yeah, let's he, have Flash jump on Wonder Woman's boobs. That I I don't think that was Whedon. Yes, I don't know. I don't. I, I think I, did they say it was? was? I think that came out that was Snyder. I'm I think not, it I'm came out that was Whedon. Uh, I mean, every people have gone like, oh look, this was Whedon. Oh look, Whedon made Superman do the shirt rip. And it's like, actually, that was Snyder. So well, you, I, nobody knows what. I just think <laughs> that movie altogether was bad. But um, I mean, it, it yeah. got me. So uh, you know, he's very much an old style. Like he worked for Avengers. I don't. And I, I don't even think they're something. that great in movies, of the Avengers movies. I think I, they're I okay. Think, I mean, yeah, that's just your opinion. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they're a Winter Soldier, a Black Panther, um, a Homecoming. Oh, yeah. I'd put both of them are Black Panther. But that's oh, just no, me. I think Avengers are probably not even top 10 for me in all the Marvel that's, movies. That's, that's just downright wrong. Um, <laughs> but no, I, I, I want to see Weed and do something else. To just see you if know, it... It's not like a flash in the pan sort of. This could be a great uh, thing for both Snyder and Whedon, where they're now going to be out of the superhero genre, I think, and they could both do different yeah. things and show off uh, 
their talent and if they can show people if they have it or not. You know, yeah. Zack Snyder, is Zack Snyder a movie director? Well, like no, he's done all these movies, but can he do it outside Snyder, of the genre? Snyder's had plenty of chances before, and he's not a storyteller. He's a visual guy. Yeah. So that's why. Like, well, and that's the difference, right? Joss Whedon isn't a visual guy. He's more of a, a storyteller. They're, they're both know. different. He, he I has, think there is. He, I, he has got the most iconic cin- like, cinematic shot of the last 20 years. Uh, I, Superman walking out? No, the, <laughs> the Avengers circle shot. You could not deny that's an iconic shot. Uh, I, I, I think you Dark Knight has not, iconic shots. I'm not. I'm not saying that nothing has got an icon. Like he has one it's of just, the most. Is what most I'm recent ones. I have to think What's, about it. I, I can't think about it on the spot. I'm not gonna say yes or no because I can't think. About, I need to think about it because I. How, can't, I'm trying like, to recall right now. You, and I don't no, you, it's not even a question of thinking about it. It's just a fact. Everyone knows that one shot. It's an iconic thing for Marvel at the minute. It's cool. He did that. I'll give you this. I only want to watch Avengers just to see that part. And I just want to skip everything exactly. else. That's to just... why it's the iconic part because everyone wants to see that one moment. Yeah, so that I'll, I'll give you that part. That I just want to see that. I, I'll, I have to think about like being iconic, but I just that, thank thank you for giving me that. Moment. I do watch Avengers just to that third act. I really fast forward through first and second because I just. Well, that, that's, I that's most, the thing is Avengers hasn't aged that well. Actually. Yeah, it really hasn't. It's, and that's a terrible thing because I feel like something like that should have, because um, it is one Avengers the first one, but it is what it, I think. Has Iron Man aged? No. No. None of the no, first... I, the only part of Iron Man that's aged is the references. The rest of that movie's timeless. Yeah. Oh. I think Thor is aged. <laughs> I think Thor aged like a year after it came out. I don't think that's that good of a movie. I mean, I mean Thor was kind of mediocre. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think it aged a year after. But, uh... So yeah, uh, Joss Whedon no longer doing Batgirl. Um, I loved seeing on Twitter all these people suggesting uh, women directors. Uh, you know, I'm all for that. Um, which I don't think you need to. I think you can have a man do it, but I either way, I, I'm down for it. I don't care. I mean, you could have a guy do it. That's why they got yeah. Whedon on it. But yeah, like, I don't really it, care. It, get a different sh- tone. I mean, it should be the director that can do the best job. Be yeah, of course. Man or yeah. Woman. That's always, that's, you don't even have to say that, honestly. That just should well, be the now, standard. Now we kind of do because he was, oh, I want a woman director. I'm like, well, and you should a, get the. That's I'm okay, like, I'm, though. I don't know what I'm saying that, but that's what people, well, certain groups will say, no, we need a, you know, a, a woman to direct a female led movie. Well, here's the thing, like, you know, you get that voice. Like, would Black Panther have been as good as people, like, say it is without Ryan Coogler, right? Uh, if you it if depends. you had like let, name a on, really on... good white straight all right would would you have had the same message and the same impact Black Panther has had if you didn't that's, have that's what no was, not the same that's impact that's what Definitely. I was trying to get at is that you wouldn't really have the same message because you don't know if a different director would go to that length to to drive I mean I might have because. I can yeah. think of tons that would probably go to the same length, but would it have been as impactful? Who, I doubt who, it. Name a that really good director right now. still be impactful if they can get the right message down. Well, name a really good director right now. Uh, let's Guillermo del Toro, right? If he did uh, Black Panther, would it still be good? I think so. Would it still have the impact? No, because he's not black. He's Hispanic. I, I, I wouldn't know because that movie would never got made. You think so? Oh, it's true. That's, <laughs> that's true. That's okay, true. that's true. Then you got to be on that. Okay, name <laughs> another, name another, who's another director that's like... Close to a Ryan Coogler. I'm trying to think. Uh, who's what's the Mexican guy who did um, Whiplash? He, okay, I did Whiplash. Uh, no. You mean uh, Birdman? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Alejandro and Araki? I, I think it's still be. It, it might even be better, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think it has the same impact. I think you yeah. you had to have a black director do it. Mm-hmm. If he's Mexican, is, Asian, white, just, I don't think it matters. Yeah. Like, you know, because you, you get that voice across and that's why i'd say you'd need a woman for but or yeah bat woman or like no a wonder woman it wouldn't have been as like no so yeah i i mean who's a director we could put up there um let's not put um who's the typical who were, who's they seen this people were saying the the girl did the lady did ladybird right what so is that Kath, no who i'm thinking of not Catherine Catherine Bigler. no that's not she didn't do it but and that's what i was trying to think i it would be a very militaristic take on back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. Yeah, very. She does do a lot of those movies. <laughs> um, it would be very action heavy with her in that yeah. sense. Um, I'm trying to think of female directors. I don't necessarily have them off the top of my head, which is weird. I usually uh, would. Um, oh look, uh, 
There's a bunch of like articles saying Batgirl needs a female director. Here's who we want. <laughs> yeah. Of course they have them. Um, best woman directors. Yada yada. Well, at least it wouldn't be like uh, what was it? I think was it like Grace Randolph's vision oh. of Batgirl, where like she wanted uh, Barbara to be in the wheelchair halfway through the first movie. She just wanted a Batman movie with her. <laughs> it's just like it's a Batgirl movie. Grace, calm down. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm currently looking uh, up some uh, current. Female directors, here's a great article. It's bad uh, that I can't think of any more than that, apart from like Patty Jenkins. Ava DuVernay is a great one, but she's busy with all I, her Disney stuff. I, yeah. Um, let's see, because I, is, I it's a, it's sad also that we can't. There isn't like a lot of big name notables unless you're really into the women directing like field. Catherine Bigelow, Ava DuVernay, yeah, there's some like there, or I guess Lexi Alexander's another one, but some people are off her. Didn't um, she do the Punisher? Yeah, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. But some people I feel like are off that bandwagon of her as director because she's had some really hot takes, and yeah, uh, they yeah. never really go off so well. So, oh, um, let's see. I'm looking. Uh, there's a lot of these names, but not a lot of like action per se. So, uh, so that could be a good well, thing. I don't think you, you don't need action, need right? Action. Yeah. yeah. You know, if you ha- if you have uh, out there who's listening, if you have some female directors that would be amazing for Batgirl. I, I don't see why not. You should just comment, like whether it's in SoundCloud, yeah. YouTube, hit us up on social media because I guess I haven't seen enough works of women directors to to know. Maybe I have and I just can't. It's just at the tip of I my like, tongue, pro- but I can't. You probably have, but they're yeah. not, like, the names aren't pushed in. Like, Which is so as, weird. Like, they should be, right? It should be, but it, it's Hollywood, That's the time we live in. Yeah, it's Hollywood. Um, not the Wachowski's. Cheapest good Weinstein, apparently. Not the Wachowskis, right, Mitch? I want to say something about the Wachowskis, but I don't. Oh, I thought you were <laughs> going to say about the movie, um, the one with Dane DeHaan. Movie with Dane DeHaan? Yeah, they had a movie with uh, Dane DeHaan. It was like about aliens. They did Valerian? Yeah, didn't they? Did they? Yeah. I don't think they did. Didn't they do Valerian? I think so. Let me look it up. I would have thought they'd be busy with Sense8 at that point. Oh, they are doing Sense8, which is great. Oh, no, it wasn't Valerian. It was Jupiter Chow- Ascending. Oh, it yeah. It was a Channing Tatum and Mila Kunis. I thought, I swear I thought they did Valerian for some reason. Maybe it just looked something like they would have done. And I never saw that movie, so I just... Uh, I mean, the Wachowskis could be an idea. Yeah. Um. I don't know. No. I feel like Ava DuVernay and, like... Patty Jenkins, Catherine Bigelow, those are like the top three that like you hear that a lot be... for anything. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, uh, uh, you hear a lot of those names for like just anything in general. What's Ava DuVernay got coming out? Wrinkle in Time. Oh, she... The one I couldn't think of the name. Yeah, it's. I think it's gonna be good, but that's just. I mean, it's got a lot of hype around it. Yeah, that's me. Um, yeah, I. You know, I don't think we have anything else to say about Bagger other than if you're gonna make it. Make it good. Make it about Batgirl, not a Batman movie with Batgirl in it. And try finding a uh, woman director, because why not? You know what I'm saying? I think yeah. th- there's some get, women directors a, who need an opportunity out there. That yeah, have get a chance. Yeah. Get an uh, all-female cast, all-female. Like, I don't know about that. You're going to need a man at some point. There's just, you know what so, I mean? So, like, all, all right, you can, have, you can do a Black Panther and have your token man there. Yeah, so. like, I, I, I don't think you do an all-female cast, because... You I mean, can't just erase you men from a movie. Oh, I mean, <laughs> you, like, there's okay. 300, it's 300 tried very hard. It's very true. <laughs> I was about um, to say, it's like it's the day of the week in Gotham where all men have gone out of Gotham and only women are in town. I mean, why no, not? Not even no extras who are men. I think that'd be hilarious, but still, I don't think that could possibly happen because <laughs> it just no, wouldn't I mean, be realistic. It, I mean, it's a superhero movie. It that is was really, true. That, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm just saying it because it just sounds like a way out there idea that I feel like nobody would do it. Well, like you don't like you don't have to focus on men. You can make a very small personal film. Yeah, you can make a... the top five big cast members all women. That's a thing. You, but of course, you can have like a guy doing a guy walking down the street or something like a right, guy they he, beat up or something. How, here's how you do it. You set it all in one warehouse, and it's just women. Yeah. A whole movie. You know, something yeah. like Batgirl should be like an hour and a half. Not, not, like, you, you know. question the whole that whole movie. Like, what was that movie called? Um, 
Oh, it had Brie Larson in it. It was a shootout movie. Oh, no, I don't know. Yeah, that was one in one with the house. No. You know what, like, it just, it has me thinking about Backer of, like, um, should this movie basically, because they're still doing it and they still want to do it, but should this movie, I, yeah, do should it. it be about the killing joke and the Joker and her, or should it just be not? Like, I'm just thinking, like, would it be best or would it be against that? Because, you know... I don't think you should do it at all for the first. Not not for the first one. Yeah. Here, no one. Yeah. What what that what kind of message does that send? That's like, what I'm saying. Be, like that would it be the right move? Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's really it for background. So going on to the next piece of news, we are going to be talking about a leaked set photo that shows the parcels. Wait, jingle all the way to. Wait, what? Jingle all the way to. Oh yeah, a leaked set photo for Jingle all the way to, aka Shazam, which shows some of uh, Shazam's <laughs> suit. Uh, and people got mad. Apparently, people was... got real mad. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't necessarily sure why. It, this was like it's a... because because people for the like you know it's been what ten years now the superhero movies people have still not learned that set photos aren't the final fucking thing. And here we are, in the current year. Like, even Black people. Panther, right? When that was, oh, it's too baggy. Like, yeah, that's not going to be in the movie. Why is this stunt guy wearing a baggy suit? He's a stunt guy. <laughs> you know what? I didn't tell you <laughs> when I was watching Black Panther. I had, a thought came to my idea at that final fight. And I was like, why do they keep taking their helmets on and off? I was like, oh, yeah, stunt actors. They have to fight. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Have FaceTime. Like... Yeah, that too. I was like, oh, yeah, these two actors need FaceTime. I was like, that just made me laugh. <laughs> George, you get a lot of FaceTime in that final yeah, it was only uh, right. <laughs> it was just so funny. I just that was just an idea that came to me, but I think I saw somebody tweet it. I'm not entirely sure. So if you hear this and it was you who tweeted it, um, I, we follow you. So, but it's just it was talking about how people focusing on the suit, but should be focusing that it's possibly set in Christmas. Oh, it's, it's set in Christmas. Yeah, so that's cool. That's why it's jingle all the way too. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. But it's this, a red suit. Christmas. This is he's awesome. giving out Turbo Man's. Oh, that'd be aw- that. Wouldn't that be an awesome like thing? He's giving away Turbo Man's. Like, oh, I love that movie. Like, because the thing if is, if they don't do that, I'll be disappointed. Didn't Sandberg even mention that this Shazam isn't a kid turning into a god who has the knowledge and everything? This is a kid who's still going to be a kid when he has this body. Yeah. Which, which is going to be the best part of it. Explains why the suit looks like it does. Yeah, because he's a kid still, and he's right. like, oh, this looks nice. All right. Um, and he possibly just got made the the hoodie. Like out of his nan's curtains, maybe. Uh, who knows? <laughs> uh, I love that it's a hoodie, though. I think the hoodie is the best, like, best thing they reinvented about Shazam in the the what is it, the 2000, like, 13, 14, New something like that. The Jeff Jones run in New 52. I think the best part of that run reinventing Shazam with the hoodie. I just thought it looked cool. And naming them Shazam, you heard it here first, Jeff Jones. The best part of your Shazam run was the hoodie. Also, just naming them Shazam, right? I think that's just a cool name. But he's he the Shazam's this. But he's Captain the, Marvel, right? Is that what people are saying? But he's Captain yeah, Marvel. Yeah, that's, that's what he's always been. Um, DC yeah. should have brought the rights to the name, shouldn't they? As, <laughs> as as y'all know, I'm a big Shazam fan. I think it looks cool. I think Zachary Levi's gonna do a great job. I'm so excited, especially seeing the director like tweet stuff. He even said like, "Man, if it was up to me, y'all would have everything right now, but I can't." Yeah, I was like, "This dude knows it. He knows how to work Twitter. He knows how to fun. work it. He definitely is." And he's like a James Gunn. Like this is what we were saying about David Ayer with Suicide Squad, even though that movie ended up being bad. Um, the the thing he at least did good was that he wasn't necessarily hiding away from certain things. You know, he would post always about it on Twitter. He would talk about it. When somebody would ask him, he would tweet back at it. Similar to um, Reeves, who just said, like, no, I'm not leaving Batman. He didn't even say he's not leaving Batman. Yeah, the guy said, say it ain't so, you're leaving Batman. He's like, it ain't so. So I was like, yeah. Are you talking about this week or before? No, this week of... um. Oh, so he actually replied to someone. Yeah, he replied to somebody who said, say it ain't so, oh. you're, not, you're leaving Batman. He's like, it ain't so, so... Quick side now, have you seen about that? With like John Campion. Yeah, and a little bit. And, uh, it's too <laughs> it's much just drama. Like, it's getting juicy. Yeah, too much drama um, for my thing. But um, I look, I'm so excited for this movie. I need to go back to 2014. Pretty sure it was in April. Um, whenever it was, when I said the best movie out of the DC slate and my most anticipated was Shazam in 2019. 
I I remember specifically saying that. And I think this the is going to be the best DC act, movie. Like the fact that it's actually probably going to end up being the best one and actually coming out is surprising. I mean, this is great. This is great news for me because I love this character. So, <laughs> this is like it's Christmas for me, like literally uh, metaphorically, because like there's going to be a Christmas movie and it's like this is just great. Like, it's just you. not a parade with a giant pink dog. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I just hope we can see more. It comes out in 2019. We can at this moment, but I just I'm always loving the little nuggets the director is giving because I just love that he knows this character. And he knows what to do. He knows what he's doing with it. I fully trust him. I've been trusting him for a while now. This this one thing I want to know is: Will Sinbad be in it? I I hope so. I you know the director. If he doesn't do the, that, then I don't trust he'll him. He'll be a mailman that shows up in the movie. He better be. Somebody send him this sound clip. He better have Sinbad in it. Or if not, I'm not watching the movie. <laughs> no. Now, a... <laughs> back to the suit quickly. What do you reckon? Is it going to be like a Kirby Crackle lightning bolt, or is it going to be like a sticker on lightning bolt? I'll say it again, a Kirby crackle. The Kirby, Kirby crackle. Yeah. You know how the New 52 had it, where like it's all the energy stuff. And stuff. Oh, you. I I don't think it's going energy. I don't think it's going the energy thing. I think it's just going like it just looks like it's. Put I think on... it's gonna be more classic. Like I think it's gonna be look like it's woven on there because just looking at the suit, it looks low key classic. And I know it's yeah, hard it, to tell. It looks... It, for lack of a better word, it looks really cheesy. Yeah. But I'm, I assume that, like, I say assume that, that is purely intentional. And some people are going to say, oh, you're calling it bad. No, that's not a bad thing. No. That just means that it's going to have a heart, in a sense. It's going to have this yeah. heart I to mean, it. All, all superhero movies are cheesy. In a way. Uh, yeah, you you can't way, yeah. get away from it. It's cheesy. Even Winter Soldier's cheesy. Yeah, at some points, yeah. But no. here, I'm going to look up because it just seems to me it's it has like the hoodie part of the Shazam, but it doesn't have like the muscle things. I mean, we could we could always see the original like or the the first look photo no, and it could the, have the, it. The, the muscle going to be like actually him. No. Yeah, Zachary Levi bulked up. He yeah. definitely did for this movie. And when I saw like that one picture where he's getting makeup, I was like, he looks like Shazam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he looks really good, dude. Ah, oh, man. I... Honestly, you cannot have me talking about this movie too much because all I'm going to be doing is gushing about it. Because I just, this is a literally my dream come true of a Shazam movie happening and being great. Like, this mm. is awesome. I, I just can't be more happy. And I know people are like, oh, stop being happy. Let me be happy. No, don't let him be happy. Why? Well, I had <laughs> Justice League suck, so no. I, I need this movie. You're not allowed. Which, is this still a take, a hot take that Justice League sucks, or is no, there a it's unison not. thing? It, that was never hot. Okay, just making never. sure, because I feel like there might be a a thing where people still think it's kind of good, and it's not. I mean, you you got the cult of Snyder. I mean, uh, I I'm a part of that, but I don't even like Justice League. I mean, are you gonna march in the WB lot and demand a Snyder? Nobody gave car? me a time and date or a location. <laughs> It was the WB yeah. lot, uh, California. Well, I mean, I they gave they, pictures and stuff. Can you pay my they, they, actually, they, did, they did have pamphlets. <laughs> I mean, they, they it, was, it, was, it was in Burbank because it's not that hard to find. I, I, I just hope, and I know the director has made uh, like jokes about this on his Twitter, but like you have the tiger, you have all this other stuff. Like, oh man, this is gonna be like hype, but at the same time, I'm just scared because like I think this is gonna be so good, but I don't want like it to just. To just go it's the gonna, wrong way. I can tell you right now, it's going to get blasted for being too kiddy. I don't even care. F off if you think that. I think it's going to be great. <laughs> I think I, it I needs to be see... because he's literally a kid. I was going to say, it's like the, kind of like the, maybe the one time. So yeah, like. that it's okay to but be like, kiddy. I, I want to see the official shot. I just, I just, yeah, my other problem with Jeff Jones ones was that it was a little too dark. So that's a good thing that this isn't going that way. Like, it's okay to be serious and dramatic, but that one was a little bit too dark, so I'm hoping this one will... Because one of my favorite animated movies for DC is that short with Superman and Shazam, and they fight Black Adam. And uh, Billy's, like, ha like he lives in his apartment by himself, and he meets up with Clark and stuff like that. Like, I just would love to see, like, that kind of older Billy Batson where he's a little bit more... He's always optimistic, you know what I'm saying? I'll give it to the th if it gets a third movie, you'll probably get it. No, I don't, like. I, I mean, do you think <laughs> Billy Batson is gonna be like down on his luck, like kind of like after world type um, of thing, or do you think he's gonna be a little bit more optimistic? Cause, I think you probably have to start him out like that. Do you really though? Yeah, I think you have to. Maybe not a complete shithead, but kind of 
a little bit of a break. Uh, and you... then you get like, and then you build up the optimism. You make you like. Explain uh, to me why you think he has to be a little bit more. Of a I, don't, I don't know. I just you just have like, a feeling. It's just you know you, you look at most of the things with kids in it these days, and they yeah. all kind of look breaks. But this is why I think this is going to be a different. I think. I mean, it could very well be different. I can just see it going that like that route. I think you have, uh, the tiger. Um, do like because he's like a character, and he's gonna he's gonna do like the. Uh, what am I thinking? The narration of like this is Billy Batson. His parents died and stuff like that, and do like the little Hulk, Incredible Hulk type of thing to quick go through his origin. Yeah. And then you see yeah. him, and he's like trying. Uh, he's out there selling papers, and I don't know, like whatever you do. But I don't think he's gonna be a prick. I think he's gonna be a little bit more optimistic I mean, and be happy and just you know. like he might not just be a straight prick. I can just see them having a little, little bit prick, of it. Okay, a little prick is that. I mean, he wasn't a straight prick. In. I like how yeah. we say prick as easy. No, it's but... just like just general kid prick. But no. the New 52 one, no, I could... Could like that, That's what I'm saying. In New 52, he was a little bit of a prick, but not... I mean, maybe he... You need to tone it down a bit, like, from that one. But, yeah, I can see what you mean. Like, Also, can we get a prick counter? Yes, that's a lot of pricks. <laughs> um, which, that's a lot of pricks. To some Sorry, people right. in America, that's probably a bad word, but, like, in the UK, that's kind of like a... I, I mean... It's, general it's slang, kind of... isn't it? It's kind of a bad word, but we oh. don't give a crap. Okay, you're right. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to keep talking about Shazam because that's already too much. So, with that, I don't know if anybody has, has anything else to say. So, we are going to go into the last PC news, which should take more time, and that is talking about Avengers Infinity War moves up in release date and more dates announced for Marvel. Six six dates over three To be three, specific. Three years. Is it six dates or is it nine dates? Um, first, the first, let's talk about Infinity War really quick. Of course, yep. everywhere now, world uh, set date release, yada yada yada, April twenty seventh, moved from May fourth. Everyone in Europe is mad. <laughs> Everybody in the U.S. is happy. Yeah, because yeah. Mexico's they, they ecstatic it. because they apparently wait until November. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, um, this is great all around. I was like, Nah, this sucks. No, but it's great for uh, Americans, uh, for people who live in the U.S. Because now we all get it at the same time. No spoilers in that sense, and you see it closer. And people were wondering why. What is the possible idea to moving it forward? Some say Han um, Solo, to give him more time to I, make money. I don't know if it is the whole Han Solo Deadpool three thing because this was coming up before, and it was going to have a couple of weeks. Like, sure, it's now got an extra week. Um, I think this is more of a like just a main saga Star Wars thing. I said, oh, look, these drop 90% of the time in one go. Look how much money it makes. I always think the world release on the same day and release thing, I always think that works out best, in my opinion. Because then, I feel eh. like you have them, well, I mean, because you always get it early. Uh, I mean, I don't, I don't, it's only the Marvel movies I get. Uh, okay, sure. I, I, I don't know. I just think those worked out best just because you have this kind of unison thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I get it from that standpoint, but yeah. it's just like, oh. Uh, so, uh, any other reasons as to why this happened? Like, I don't... I The only thing I seem seems believable is the Han Solo thing, giving more time to try to make money. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's, a co- it's a combination of that, and they just want that big weekend. They they want I mean, to have that title for the event. I yeah. think, like, was it... Uh, the, that first week of... Was the first week of May is... I think it's... Uh, was it Star Wars Day? And... It was yeah, free con- it, and I think unless they're gonna change oh, the day, free comic book day also. That completely screws up Marvel's comic yeah. plan. Yeah. Because they were having no surrender finished the week of. Yeah. That's um, what I'm Infinity saying. War, we were always saying they'll get to start their Infinity event. <laughs> oh, Oops. and also sorry, the... Jerry Doug and Dub, Ewing and Wade. Your plans have been screwed up. This may not have been a possibility, but this this is something that was talked about when uh, Age of Ultron came out. Um, the big boxing fight, Canelo uh, Alvarez versus Triple G, that was out May 5th. And remember what yeah, happened last there, time with Age of is Ultron? There bo- is there a boxing fight on May 5th or 4th or whatever? Wait, say it again? Is there a fight this year? Yes, it's on May 5th. It's this year. Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's probably... And that's going to be one of the biggest bought-out fights and people are going to want to spend a lot of... It's going to be like 
close to 100 bucks or something like that. Because yeah. I mean, Disney said they were vote, they were disappointed with the result of Age of Ultron, weren't they? And wasn't that the Mayweather fight, Mayweather versus Pacquiao, yep. if I remember correctly? Yep. So these, this does you could take this into consideration. Where the big I was like, fight, forget every other reason. That's the reason. This, yeah, this is probably one of the bigger reasons because this will take a lot of people from to go into watch to include into the opening weekend, and even then, like. Maybe people are like, oh, I already spent all my money on the fight, so I probably won't have money for like they, a couple weeks. When was that fight announced? A long time ago. Probably, probably after they did um, the release date for Infinity War, but then they probably just realized, like, hey, we could probably do it a week earlier, so let's try to do that. Yeah. More than likely. Yeah, yeah I, I'd say that's the main reason now. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah, I know <laughs> I definitely was watching the fight. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, I wasn't good time. Yeah, but... Me and I, all I'm my gonna... friends were, and my friend was going to buy it, and we're all going to be at his place. So, like, yeah, that takes away, like, at least uh, yeah. 10 to 20 fight heads. last, like, five minutes or something? The Pacquiao versus Mayweather? Yeah, it was a really quick fight, wasn't it? No, I think it lasted the whole night. What's... I don't remember. I don't remember. What was the really quick one, then? I um... suck with fights. I don't pay attention to it. Uh, real quick tangent. Uh, there was Ronda Rousey that lasted, like, 13 seconds or something like that. Um, it, it was the one with the MMA fighter. Hmm. Yeah, then that Rousey, right? Or was no, it? Was no, like, no, it was uh, Mayweather versus versus the McGregor. Uh, McGre- that, yeah, McGregor, McGregor, McGregor was yeah. the whole fight. It wasn't like was it? I it thought was, it was. It went weird. all like or no, it ended like at least to the thirteenth round, I guess. So that there's I think fifteen. There, rounds. there was what? There was one massive fight, not like in the last. Unless it, unless fight. it was, unless it was the uh, Rousey, Rousey ended fight. like seconds. Yeah. So, I, don't, yeah. I don't think it, I think it was Rousey. That, not that I'm talking about anyway. It, yeah. it wasn't MMA. It was boxing. So, wh- uh, why are you asking that? I'm curious. I don't know. You just didn't count. Oh, okay. I was just I was wondering. Like, but... I couldn't think of who that fight was. I thought you were going with the take, like, if it last, it, it could have lasted a lot longer, then people could go see Infinity War right after or something. Bro, I was just thinking that people spent so much money on that fight, and it lasted, they, like, five minutes. They really do, right? Hundreds of dollars, just, like, including food and uh, television and all that, and just to last seconds, when you could have yeah. saw it on Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Get up, as well. Yeah. Um, and the hundred, the hundreds of YouTube remixes. Oh, that too. Yeah. Uh, or that guy. <laughs> the funniest thing. The guy who was pretend, uh, streaming it on Twitch and pretending to play a UFC video game. Oh god. <laughs> See, that this... shit was a... no. It, it, it was amazing because he got away with it. Yeah, and somebody else <laughs> did it for uh, the Super Bowl. So I was like, oh, it's hilarious, dude. It's so funny when people do that. And then yeah, I think it was in the stream comments. All I saw was like, yo, let's do that. The whole entire stream up. <laughs> That's so funny. No, um, here we go. Okay. So, okay, let's go into the dates now. Now that we kind of figured out maybe as to why the Avengers moved up. Um, the dates are October 4th, 2019, November 8th, 2019, February 14th, 2020, my birthday, which is going to be great. Um, shout out to all Valentine's kids out there. May 29th, 2020. October 9th, 2020, December 23rd, 2020, February 12th, 2021, May 8th, 2021. Oh my God, there's so many days. I can't say them all. There's, I think, because I imagine this is all of phase four. Yeah. This is this right. is too many dates. I already got tired of hearing myself yeah. like say that. There, there's like nine, ten days. It's the same yeah. as phase three. So what um, movies? Well, we, we, we know the first one after Avengers 4 is Spider-Man. Yeah. We know that because it's they said this. Yeah. They also said, so, yeah. that's coming out in when's the foot that twenty nineteen day? October fourth. Spider Man October is a weird day. It is a weird time. It very much um, is. The February date, I would put money on being Black Panther. So you don't think any of this are Fox Marvel? You think this is all straight at Marvel Studios? No, this is all Marvel. There's no way. Well, I mean, it, I say there's no way. There, there probably is, but I think for right now, this is just their yeah it's the one they have standard now. A yeah. plan. Like yeah. the X Men stuff would be big player. Because like um, I, I know like was it Disney? They moved uh, their live action Mulan movie a year back. That's true. They did yeah, I, I saw I, that. Sure. Um, um, so we're thinking Sp- so Spider Man October fourth. You said. Um, yep. We're thinking Doctor the February, Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange. Yeah, Guardians is going to be the first yeah. three. Okay, so how many okay. dates are there? And we'll count it down to how many movies. So there's ten dates. Well, right? there's there's one, three a two, year. Three. So three until twenty twenty two. So three in 2019, three in 2020, 321, 320. So that's 12. That's 12 dates. Well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, oh, no. That's so five, yeah. 11. Let me see. Go, go. Keep saying what you think, and then I'll count it down. I'm, I'm just thinking because the February day, I'd put money on being Black Panther because Black History Month, February. Why would you not put it back there? Um, 
the date that Captain Marvel's coming out is Women's Month or whatever it is, or International Women's Day is one of the two. That will probably be her sequel. You've got Black wow. Widow in there somewhere. Are, is it true in 2021 there's four movies, like February, May, July, October, no, and December? No, no. Who, who are you That's looking fine. at? Okay. Be, okay, maybe I'm looking at the wrong one. I blame all these articles who have too many dates. Like, it's, it's definitely three a year each okay. one. That's what I'm saying. And it's very it's very similar to what we've had last year and this year. Where like you get one where it's front loaded in the year, another one where it's more spread out, then it's front loaded, then it's spread out, then it's front loaded, okay. then it's spread out again. Let's look at it. Um this could be it. Um Okay, here it is. The... Here, here's somebody who has it. Um oh it says here, why would it say Spider Man 2 July 5th, 2019? What, what did this article come out? It came out yesterday and they said Spider Man 2 was July 5th. I mean, it could be. I'm not sure. I don't know. But... Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, including Spider Man. Yeah. I'll say that. So, okay. You got, you're got you going to have Spider Man, Guardians. Yeah. They're the first two. Spider Man's Guardians. Four. Okay. Um, I'd imagine you didn't have Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, Black Panther. Uh, no, Black Panther. I'd put in February. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm just, I'm just counting them down. Like, to what I've ten movies? Counting. What ten movies what are ten, gonna happen? Oh, all right, you got Spider Man, Doctor Strange, Guardians, yeah. Black Panther. You got Black Widow. They, yeah. they're five. Um, you think Black Widow's Mar- gonna happen? You don't think another type of Marvel they, they, female movie? They've announced it. It's happening. They've announced Did they really? It. Though yeah. they said it's, they announced the humans, just, didn't Joe, they? Joe. It's, a, it's official. Didn't they They're announce the humans? <laughs> yes, and that thing still got made, Joe. It doesn't matter what Yeah, but it want. didn't get made into a movie. So. A movie. <laughs> you got to watch out with that. Question. It's ha- They're not going to go, oh, yeah, we're giving Scarlett Johansson the movie and then take it away in this day and age. Let's be real. You could. Yeah. You could. But we'll, I will see. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll assume that Black Widow is happening because I maybe they have another female character they want to put out there instead of. Yeah, and they've got five more movies to put a female yeah, character. Maybe they want to put that one first before Black Widow. I don't know. It just seems like. I, mean, I, I, don't I was know never too keen into a Black Widow movie, anyways. But that's just. It, me. it don't. It don't matter what you're keen on. Like, yeah. it's, it's being made. What, <laughs> like, I mean, we'll make, see. We'll they're see. making it right now. We'll see. They've already started production. We'll see. Um. But either way, you have those five. You've got a Captain Marvel sequel, Ant-Man 3, no, Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's two. seven. Um, and then I imagine three new ones. Who those three new ones are, the question. Could an Inhumans movie still pop out? I could. It, it won't, but it could. I'm trying, I'm trying to think of what other... Um, you have Doctor Strange 3, obviously. We already had those. Three. So seven. We have seven. There's no, three more. I, I said two. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I'm talking said... about the three calls. Okay, so three calls. So, so, okay, that's two more. There's two more left. An um, Avengers movie, I'd assume. You kind of have to. You have to have two Avengers movie in that time span. Oh, don't you don't have to. No, no, have one. To. Let's just put one. Let's assume one. So that's oh, nine when, movies. Wouldn't they be called New Avengers? Okay, well, whatever it's called. Like, just Avengers they... in general. Like, the, the, the franchise of it where you have the team up. Let's just say that. I'm going to say they're going to call it out. Oh, I must be done it. That'd be um, cool. So that's nine movies. One more. Well, that's it, isn't it? It's nine. Nine days. I thought there was ten. Okay, well, I guess I can't. I didn't count Spider-Man 2, so yeah. Okay, Spider-Man... It's just the thing, looking at it, it's a lot of sequels. Yeah. It's very... um. We're not too. assuming that there's going to be a new one, new property. What character could be... Well, you, would, you would have thought, because they've said their plan is that sequel, sequel, new. So in thinking, a year. Well, Black Widow's one of the new ones, I guess. Uh, if that yeah, happens. Black like... Widow's... And was it next year D23 would be here in the States, so. China. Yeah, which is probably where we'll hear the new slate. Yeah. yeah next yeah. year. So, um, we counted down. So, those are some ideas of what the movies could happen. That's just kind of us, um, educated guests, you know, with an educated guess. Because, of course, Mitch has it right in what they say, like, sequel, sequel, new. Because that's even what Feige said. Yeah. So, and then, yeah. you know, you have... Um, Funny how that's right with Five. You say when Five is about Black Widow. Well, actually, I mean, to be fair, I didn't see it. Um, that's why I was t- trying to I tell you. I swear Jack. I have not seen any single thread in the past two months of a Black Mid- Widow movie that's besides what you I just said. That's why I was telling you it's happened. Yeah, but that it, you saying it doesn't necessarily mean... I'm telling you what they said. <laughs> I'm going to look it up. I'm going to look it up. That's what it is. It's fake news. I just have not heard <laughs> Damn, one what, single thing about Joe it. Why is Joe trying to trump me? I just, like, it just, 
it seems like I will Adam not build your wall, Joe. No. <laughs> it could be a rumor. It's not a rumor. It's happening. Okay, I looked at Black Widow movie. It's literally Let's got see. a writer on it and everything. Let's see. Let's see. I looked at Black Widow movie. Uh, it's a lot of people saying why we should uh, give it to her. Oh, here's Marvel saying finally giving Black Widow our movie, The Verge. How come nobody, more people are not talking about it? Because a Black Widow movie is not that big in news. No, but it should be. It is going to be like, you know, a female uh, centric movie. So. Let me see. Like, I, I don't honestly know what else they could put in those days. They're all the ones, the realistic ones I could think of anyway, but there's nothing new. And I don't believe they'd want just constant sequels. Unless this isn't all the dates they have for this phase. I don't know. Oh, okay. So what it's saying is Marvel's finally pushing ahead with the Black Widow movie, yada, yada. They have Jack uh, Sheffer penning the script. It Currently, it is only in early development. It has not been greenlit. But naming a writer is the closest the studio has come to moving forward on a standalone pick for the character. Uh, Marvel had no comment. Um, fans of the character, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah. So still, it's still, still just a possibility. I mean, everything's a possibility at this moment. Like, well, there's some that are was... ahead of time. Like, some have directors, some no. don't. Some are actually like, greenlit, some are not. Like, Ant-Man and the Wasp 2. Th- I, what do you call that sequel to that movie? Ant-Man and the Wasp? Yeah, but is it 2? Because then no. it throws off the Ant-Man franchise. No, because it's like um, Man of Steel, somehow. Batman v Superman, or Dark, Batman Begins, Dark Knight. Like, it's just a sequel. Yeah, but it's just, it... it... You don't need a two. It Thor, fucks with Thor the, the Dark World. Yeah, but it fucks with the OCD of everything else. You're Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3. Thor, every other movie had a subtitle. Thor, I mean, Thor yeah. the Dark World. Captain America, yeah. Captain America the First Avenger, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War, yeah, Ant-Man, everything... Ant-Man and the Wasp. Yeah, but Ant-Man and the Wasp is a title change, not a subtitle. I just That's... think it's a sequel. I don't necessarily... It's a... I'm okay with that. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying I'm, okay, I'm not okay with it. It's just, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm just, just calling it's... it Eminem in the Wild. Don't call it two, because that sounds weird. No, I'm, I'm talking about the third one in that franchise. Oh, just call it what do whatever. You call that? Just is it call Ant-Man? it the third Ant-Man movie. Yeah, but it's not. It's Ant-Man and the Wasp. It's going to be Ant-Man and the Wasp or Ant-Man something something else. But it's just, I'm just calling it the third, because it's in the Ant-Man franchise. It's Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and then whatever the third movie is. become Ant-Man and the Wasp. That's <laughs> but untitled third film of Ant-Man franchise. And Wasp. It, Wasp was already included. I don't think you need to say it. Like, just because she's in the title, it, it's not like a big deal. Just say Ant-Man franchise. It started off Ant-Man. But it's like Iron Man 3 was like Iron Man and War Machine. They could have put it as that title, but they decided to put it Iron Man 3. Because <laughs> uh, people like Iron Man OCD. more than War Machine. I mean, I guess it messes with OCD. I don't know. I just call it Ant-Man, Ant-Man and the Wasp, and an untitled Ant-Man but, film. No, I, I'm just looking out for all the people that like the organized things. Look, I do too. I don't know. I just, I think this what is just an insignificant thing. Chronological order, fine. Yeah. No, you do it in like um whenever the release dates. I I don't like, like let's say Hobbit or um, Star Wars. I don't like that you do one two Star Wars one two three four five six. I think you should do four five six one two three. Watch I mean, them. I just do four, five, six, seven, eight. But... Or that too. Just watch them in whatever they come out in the release dates. I, however, the studio slash directors intended it to come out. That's how you watch it. Well, if they make a mistake and it screws the timeline up, well, you watch it still as it goes, and you watch them make the mistake. Looking at you, Spider Man. Yeah, there you you go. made that mistake. Um, uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if you guys completely agree with what I've said about what could be the movie, or if you got any other ideas. Nah, but... I think those all make sense. Um, I you said Black Widow is one of them. I think if there's gonna be one other new one, it's. Who's what would you character? think a new one could be though? Who's a character? I would have put money back on that they want to do in the humans movie, but I I'm not. Let's just say that they don't. I said that they don't. It <laughs> has to be somebody else. Who's a character that's kind of famous? It could be a Captain America Sam Wilson one, or would that be in the Cap franchise? Um, that that, that would probably Cap. be in the Cap franchise yeah. because yeah, okay, that's uh, because Sam appe- appeared in first appeared. In a Captain America comic book series, so. but I don't even. I mean, yeah. I mean, he, he can have his own, his own, but he's yeah. well, greatly associated Who's with the character? Captain America franchise. Who's a character that could pop up? Do you think they'd ever do a villain movie? I mean, there's rumblings that they're 
toying about the idea of a Thunderbolts movie. But an Osborne... Or so something with Thunderbolts. You think they can do an Osborne movie, couldn't they? But that I mean, would that be good it enough? It hasn't got to be Osborne, to be honest. You could yeah. do Zemo. Or a Green yeah. Goblin. And, and then you see in the comics, you hear that one Hulk fan saying, give Hulk a movie again. Oh, but I, that's not a new movie. That's That would be a sequel, so... Spoilers, um, there are rumblings that Foggy has maybe got the distribution oh, rights. Somebody back. said Namor, right? Like, that could be one, I guess, because they want to do the Aquaman the, like, type thing. That's, that's what they're saying, but from what I've learned from doing the video on this, it's they're still trying to figure out the paperwork at this point still. But do you still yeah, you got years. And they pump it out super easy. Well, they so, don't. <laughs> I mean, they kind of do. They, they really have the system that I, I low-key... Wondering how come no other studio has been able to get it. Like the system they have is just perfect. They able to. Oh, I thought I thought you meant like pay, the paperwork for Hulk. Oh no, no no no! I meant like I the think... system they have in production and then released the movie. Like it's a year, it's just straight up a year. They're so good at it. Like no, I, it's a couple of years, isn't it? Of just in like they're starting filming and then they comes out. It's a year. Yeah, well, because the thing they do is they have. Um, I'm sure they give a the year pre- to write it. They 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 do the previous stuff, didn't they? So they, all the CGI stuff is done before the movie starts shooting, yeah. or it's being worked on as. And so that's not we film and then we do CGI. It's bang bang. Yeah, which is a great system to have in that sense. Yeah, yeah. which is so some, weird how some, no some other some studios argue, have done that. Yeah, some might argue that the CG isn't working right now. I, <laughs> I kind of, I kind of agree, especially with Black Panther. But yeah. it is um, what it is. I just can't think of any other character. Namor, I guess, if they finish out that I mean, paperwork. No, I, I'm not the, the Marvel guy, most, so I don't know all the Marvel characters. The most common ones you'd get would be like a Nova. That's oh, one thing yeah, clamoring for. Yeah. How, I, how did I not think of yeah, that? Yeah, but then the question's like, which Nova are you going to do? I mean, it's, it's not going to be Sam. It's got to no be one. Sam. It's got to no, be Sam. It, it'll, it'll, <laughs> it'll be different. See, right I now. remember when, a while back ago when we were talking about Spider-Man, right? We thought maybe Spider-Man could start and launch off the younger Avengers type thing. You have a Sam or you have a Kamala Khan type of thing. Uh, Robbie Reyes can make his way to the movies if that's ever possible. Um, I would hope so, but well, probably not. what they've done with Robbie now, he's not really young. He's young. He's 20-something. He's young. young. The he's hell was young. That? <laughs> Jones feels old. That, that's a disgusted <laughs> young. They're like, he's young. What are you talking about that young? Well, I mean, he's, he's not like 16 young. But the, what like was his character? Like, what, 22? Twenty one. He was like pushing. 30. He just looks older, but I don't think <laughs> his character that, with was that, that old. hairline. He was pushing thirty. I think he, the actor, just looks old. It's not the character that was old. No. There's a difference, but um, yeah, I was just trying to like. I thought they were gonna have like the newer Avengers wave where Sam Alexander could have been one, right? Like that'd be cool. Like you have these people or these characters who are younger and trying yeah, to. But Sam, in. Sam physically can't work without Ryder. You could introduce Ryder in another in an Avengers movie, and I know that'd be a disgrace to his they, character they and other like, fans. With, but... They could have done it with like how they did it with uh, Spider-Man: Homecoming. You could have Ryder, and then you know have the the uh, Easter egg cameos of Sam, and then just ease him in. Or you could Shoot. just yeah. call it Nova and have uh, <laughs> Ryder be the mentor to Sam. You could just do that. It's not exactly but the comics, there's but of, there's a lot of stuff you need. Story wise, but it's the Sam. movies, and the movies can change it because the movies can yeah, change but the, the storylines. Here's so the thing, what, here's the thing though. is that they're they're um, trying to get everyone that's associated with the Avengers main lineup or who are very popular. Yeah, Nova. But like here's, here's the thing the Nova haven't even got the Nova Force, yeah, so true. you can't keep Sam because Sam's got an offshoot. Of that. Didn't they die, or is Thanos gonna kill them all? I mean, he's probably gonna kill them all, right? Gonna, gonna push like <laughs> so, he, he's gonna be uh, like in your little no pokemon matches he's gonna be the tank <laughs> um mm. yeah i i don't know what else uh, i think that's pretty uh, much for news like uh, sam's gonna come across a bloody nova helmet yeah. put it on oh my god i mean that's <laughs> what he does anyway <laughs> yeah <I've, laughs> do you have anything else the stuff we said or stuff we missed no i think that's done uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, of course, comics podcast off the page tomorrow. Um, Monday, you know, st- uh, still again, TV and then film, game of the other day. Um, iTunes, please check us out. Rate, review, SoundCloud. Of course, check us out in there. I always do, just Google us and you'll find all our links. 
I feel like mm-hmm. it might sound superficial, but it's legit like the easiest way to find all of us without having to go to all the different like things by yourself. Just go to Google, Twitter. I mean, Google Comic Book Cast, and you'll see the Twitter link. You'll see Facebook. You'll see Instagram. You'll see SoundCloud. It's the easiest way to be honest. Um, yeah. So, yeah, and I think that's it. So until next time. <laughs>